Oh my god, he just oh, stepped in dog Tiba. poop. Oh. I would say that people really need to clean up after their pets, but <laughs> it was our pet this time. All right, this is my third time attempting to start this video because I've had some serious lag issues in my game today. I don't know why, but I cleared out some files on my computer and defragged and all that fun stuff, so... The game seems to be running good now, so welcome back to the Ultimate Decades Challenge with the Rivers family. It is 1351. The year is... Well, it's year 22. Last episode, our third wife, Flora, um, became pregnant and she will be giving birth, I think, mm -hmm. tomorrow, I think, tomorrow. So that would be Monday in the game. And last episode, we got some animals for the farm. Some chickens and a cow, yes. We've also started our winter garden. Well, kind of, not really. But we're working on starting our winter garden um, because... Winter is coming. Winter is here. It's not coming, it's here. Um, so it's first day of winter. We got to plan our winter crops. I suppose I should buy another bassinet and prepare for the child. I do really appreciate that in Cottage Living, the kids can do a lot of the farm chores. Actually, they can pretty much do all of the farm chores, I think. There's a few that they can't do, but for the most part, they can really help out. Like, he can clean the cow, he can milk the cow. So, that's, that's really good. Do more of that, EA, because we need more interactions for kids, especially chore stuff. Like, I really wish he could wash the dog, but he can't. Yep, so. Why do you have to do that? It's so creepy. Maybe you should go home because it kind of creeps me out that you're always here. Aww. The dog loves him. It's really cute. Everywhere he goes, Sam follows Edward. He's very cute. Where'd you get that collar? Here's Glida. Here's Johnny. Let's, let's like talk to her. Ask about being dead. Sure, what's that like? So what's it like being dead? Ah, soon a nibna. Smurg zucchini, zafoim, lampima. Express admiration. I still love you, honey. You're, you are my true love. Rafobi, sacrament. Banter with old friend. Oh. Dimba, dimba combo. This is sweet. Okay, okay, it's time for bed, dude. Rise and shine, Eddie. It's time to do chores. I know you love this farm life. She has like the prettiest pregnant belly I've ever seen. It's like perfectly round basketball shaped. I hope I look like that when I'm pregnant. I won't though. I think today's the day she pops though. Uh, huh. You ready? You ready to be a mom? I still don't have a name for the cow. Should I name it after one of my children? My dead children? Oh my god, wait. I should name it Sophia after Brantley's dead wife. Is that rude? Because it is a cow. And do people like want to be named after cows? I don't know, but I'm going to do that. This is Sophia after Sophia Sosa, who we love. She's beautiful and deceased. So I think Sophia would approve. Anybody have any names for the rooster and hen? I will also accept names for them. Um, I... I have no ideas, so. You a good girl. I wish I had a cow. I wish I had a whole farm. I don't really wish that. I would be a terrible farmer, but it would be fun. Go away, you creeper. Gleda's dead. What are you doing, human boy? Playing with a toy horse. There's not a thought in that brain. Oh, she's gone into labor! Mm, finish that laundry, though. <laughs> Priorities. Here we go! It's been a while since we had a baby. It's a girl! I want to name her Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn Rivers. Good. And yes, it has been a while since we've done this, but we still do have to roll for both Flora and Gwendolyn. So let's get our d20 out. 
Okay, so the death roll for a woman in childbirth is a one. So let's see if Laura survives. She does survive. And then a death roll for a newborn in the 1300s is a one, five, 10, 15, or 20. So if we can avoid those numbers, Gwendolyn is safe for now. Oh my gosh. She's not safe for now. Gwendolyn is deceased. Put her down. I gotta yeet her. All right. <laughs> Bye. Mm. Quick, before everyone gets sad, try for another baby. No, he's sad. It's okay. I already got them in bed. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, bye. Have fun with that. Well, man, I was hoping this would be like a really cool episode. But alas, my roles are still terrible. After all this time. Caleb! It is really not the time. I'll come to you when I'm ready for you, okay? He's literally back. I just sent him home. Oh my god, leave! I'm sorry that this is so miserable for you, buddy. Your step-parents don't love you. You have to do chores in the rain. Your only hope for a sibling just died. Your brother's coming home from war tomorrow, though. Or not tomorrow. Um, a couple of days. A couple of sim days, which is like a happy year in real time. And their time frame, whatever. I, I probably should add a fence around my um, barn area now that I have some money. This seems like a, a small barn area. Maybe I should extend it a little. Okay, wait. Okay, that's so cool. That's something that's new from the uh, from the werewolf pack. Maybe I'll use that fence actually. That kind of looks, like, stupid, though. I don't know. I'm not good at building. Always adding fences, but no gates. What is the logic? There. There's a tiny gate there that you can't see. Well, you can't see it. I tried to cover it with plants, but, um, I need the tool mod and I haven't downloaded it yet. So, it's just gonna have to be like that, you know? Um, that's all I feel like doing right now, so I don't care if it's ugly. Oh, I forgot to pay my taxes. Oh god, I forget to pay my taxes. Oh my god, I don't have enough money. <gasps> oh my god, I really don't have enough money. What? Why is it so much money? I know my lot is not worth that much. Is it because I still have a lot of stuff in my household inventory? Okay, so whenever Flora moved, she brought all the stuff that lived in her... Er, that was in her house when she lived in her old house. And I haven't bothered to sell any of it yet because I just, I'm lazy and I just haven't. So I'm like, is that why my bills are so high? Because technically I own all this stuff. Oh my God. It was never supposed to happen like this. You know, after doing all that, I'm thinking maybe that actually was the true price of my, my taxes because I do have a barn now. So maybe that really was how much it's worth, or how much my land's worth. Um, so if that's the case, I really need to start making more money. <laughs> oh, preggies! Yay! She's pregnant! Again. Get away from my house! I'm gonna be mean to him. Go away. Oh, Lilith. You can come in. We like you. Lilith is reading the Bible. What the irony of it all. Mm, he didn't know that one. Oh! <gasps> he did it! You're so good, honey! You're the best! Oh, he's such a good boy. Oh my gosh, she's teaching him how to play dead? Do it! You can do it! And that pretty much wraps up episode 22 of the Ultimate Decades Challenge. Sort of a, um, sort of a boring year other than the birth that, you know, didn't end up successful. But next year, if our roles go well, Wyatt Jr. will be returning from war and we can work on getting him a wife and having 
our third generation come into the picture, maybe. So I'm looking forward to that personally. I mean, third generation? I can't believe we made it this far. I'll see you next time.